I'm Ruben, and our 5760 project was a vector laser scanner. The way that it works is that we uh, start out by, with code running on the microcontroller, which reads in a scalable vector graphics file and translates into a for format that the FPGA can read. And then the FPGA has code running on it, which reads that out of a set of RAM blocks and interpolates along the uh, path to uh, create a set of pixels, which it sends into a hardware circuit. So for our hardware circuit, we're using the VG... Oh, hi, I'm Emmett. Uh, <laughs> we use the VGA as high-speed I.O. to output um, to signals which go into our beautiful little box here, which has some amplifiers to scale them because uh, our Galvos need plus minus 15 as their signal. And then for the laser, we use a low side switch on a general purpose I.O. pin to turn it on and off when we need to move the Galvos around without creating a line. And those Galvos are moving quite fast and you can't even see them move really, but they clearly are because they're producing a, an image of an arrow rotating here, um, which is quite bright. Oh, I had to make it way weaker. It, it can be much brighter than that. I see. So, good. Okay, so show me another image. So this... So um, our code is capable of doing straight lines, doing uh, quadratic curves, cubic curves, and um, also moving around with that while turning the laser off in order to move between different segments. Mm -hmm. So here's a set of um, four arrows rotating. This is moving at high speed, so it's somewhat distorted. If we slow it down a little, it gets a little cleaner, but it starts flashing a little more. And, and on video, it's probably going to look choppy because of the interference effects of the, of the, of the video. But, uh, well, that's bright. Okay. Do you want to do the rotating line? Um, here's just a line by itself. So what's the little hooky thing on the end there? The little hooky thing on the end is the fact that this is a cheap laser pointer from Amazon and doesn't turn off as fast as uh, we're telling it to. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Here's a simple quadratic curve. Cool. Here is a light bulb. <laughs> Speed up the display there, so I, so it's, uh... So it has a, it, it's going to be interesting to see what this looks like on video, because it, uh, the video is chopping it at, at, at some odd rate. Okay, so you had, uh, did you show the four arrows already? Uh, yes, we did. Okay. We also have a biohazard symbol, which is going to look very distorted. Wow, that looks like some sort of... Uh, Monster that will eat your children in the night? That's right, exactly, right. It looks like some nightmare thing, nightmare fish or something. Can you do the biohazard mountain? Yes, that's why I'm going to look better. Speed it up now. Yeah, there you go. Wacky. So it's plenty bright. You're getting pretty good bandwidth. There's uh, some interesting control issues here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me go around this side so I can, you can see the image through the paper. And over the top of it, we can see the Galvo is just barely moving. You can see them blinking in the background there as they, as they move over the image. And this is not a raster scan, right? This is a vector scan. Yes. This is a vector scan, yes. And that's one reason it's so bright, is you don't draw what you don't have to draw. It's been interesting to observe. Um, like the quality seems to degrade after it's been running for a while. 
while. If we let this cool off, reprogram it, and run it again, then I think the, the thing would appear a little better. Yes. Like, it looked better when we ran this exact same image, like, 20 minutes ago. So, that it could be that the Galvo motors are getting warm, and, 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 uh, and um, resistance is going up a little bit. Very interesting. Okay, thank you.